What is up, everyone? This is your boy here, the Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. Um, I know, I can't believe I'm actually doing a Yankee video uh, closer to game time here. Um, let's hope the Yankees win tonight, man. Uh, if not, you know, tomorrow I will go off. But uh, before we get into uh, this game, and this was an interesting debate um, that was talked about in the... Um, on Reddit, so to say, that you can't fire the whole team when they're underperforming. So, really, the first scapegoat is going to be the batting coach or hitting coach, whatever you want to call it. When the New York Yankees, a team, you look at the rankings right now, they're ranked 28th. In total offense. And when you look at this team, they got three hitting coaches. Brad Wilkerson is one of them. We, we already know about Dylan Lawson. So, uh, Dylan Lawson, if this guy gets let go, he's going to be the first. And then I talked about Brad Wilkerson and Casey Dykes. And what's so interesting about this topic here. And let me get back to two weeks ago about Anthony Volpe and why Anthony Volpe now is batting 203 with this team. An adjustment that he needed to make. He was watching film on an off day with Austin Wells. And you look at Volpe's batting average right now, uh, like we mentioned, 203, but. In the last two weeks, he's been batting 290. So, why did it take Austin Wells to point out, to point it out when you got three bad hitting coaches on a big league staff that didn't even see this? And, you know... If I was in the media, if I was one of these Yankee freaking beat reporters, I would have asked Aaron Boone that question. You got three batting coaches. And then yet, freaking Anthony Volpe just found out from watching film what was wrong. And that's why you got many of these players underperforming. We know that the Yankees are not going to fire Aaron Boone. They won't. He's not a scapegoat to hit to the Yankees yet. But I got a possible solution here. I don't talk about, oh, we need to get a new hitting coach. I come out with these names out there like Paul O'Neill, Bernie Williams, and all like some of the old Yankee players. Oh, hey, Posada could be a good hitting coach. What about Brett Garner? I know Brett Garner, his days as a player is over. I would bring him in as a fucking hitting coach. And the reason I say that is because Aaron Boone, you are the manager of this team. Your team basically could be out of the wild card to, excuse me, could be out of the wild card tonight. If I were you, this is what I would do. I would assess what happens this week and then assess what happens next week and then you make your decision during the All-Star break. Because if I was a manager and my fucking team was being fucking mediocre, then you know what? I'd be firing Dylan Lawson. I'd be calling Brett Garner right now and be saying, hey, you want a job? You want to be a hidden coach on this team? That's what I would do right there. And that's what Aaron Booth should be doing. I mean, he has a great relationship. They've been, he's been friends with freaking Brett Garner for a long time. I mean, you could use him right there on your coaching staff. What I like about Brett Gardner, and this is what I liked about him as a player too. He was enthusiastic. He was fiery. He was emotional. He was passionate. 
That's what the Yankees need right now. I would go for this instantly. Friggin' what? You wouldn't even be in the bottom three in total offense in baseball. I go with this move instantly. I mean, come on. You know, give this team a little bit of a fire. And yeah, the freaking lineup tonight, it's not fucking sexy. Because when I get the notifications on my phone, and, and fucking, I'm pulling it up right now here on the computer as, what the hell, it's giving me to the all-star voting, I don't, I don't want to get to the all-star voting here. But you look at this. LeMay, who's leading off. Torres, batting second. Anthony Rizzo, batting third. Clean up. Giancarlo Stanton. Bader is batting fifth. Josh Donaldson, batting sixth. IKF is batting seventh. Hidashioka is batting eighth. And uh, Anthony Volpe is bad at night. And oh, by the way, they got Stanton playing in the right field tonight. Torres is your DH. But my gripe is, why are you freaking sitting out Billy McKinley and then you're sitting out Jake Bowers? That's what I don't fucking get. But anyways, uh, let's see if this is the lineup that freaking wins it tonight. Uh, I don't even know with this team anymore. If this team fuck, I, I mean, you got fucking the wife beater in the cheater. Fucking, um, starting for the Yankees. He's probably going to fucking give up four runs in the first inning. Watch. Watch. So I just wanted to drop this freaking uh, vlog here, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm already freaking tired of this freaking team, man. They're freaking nonsense. I swear to God, they lose tonight. You see what happens. You see what fucking happens. Because I will go off. Either late tonight. I don't even care. And the whole freaking street hears it. Friendly have the fucking cops come knocking on my door seven times already. Make it eight. Or I just wait till tomorrow and go off. I'm out. Peace.